Hello everyone, welcome to another night at the Fireside Tales. Tonight I'd like to tell you all the story of three men during World War II. These men were named Reynold, Everett, and Jim. Now, they were working secretly in this top security uh, establishment for the Nazis. And they wanted to get these plans that they knew were in the, um, the general's um, floorboard, hidden underneath his floor. And Everett, he was, the, uh, he was like the spy. He was disguised as a Nazi and he was working undercover. And he said that they, they didn't know how they were going to get in there because the problem was that they were very strict with security. Anyone who came in, they didn't bother to check, but when anyone ever came out, they made sure to um, pat them down well and make sure they weren't carrying any secret information. So um, eventually, Jim, who was really smart, he was a teacher, he came up with a plan. And here's how it went down. Um, Everett began to take into the um, establishment uh, a lunchbox. And in the lunchbox, he would put a whole bunch of rats inside. And whenever he was in the, um, in the uh, establishment, in the general's um, offices, he would put all the rats in there, and rats would start squirming around, and they'd be all over the floor, and the, the general would be getting up on the chair and shooting them whenever he saw them. And he continued to do this, and the general, he was just, he was just frustrated. He didn't know what to do. And so finally he turned to um, Everett, and he said, Everett, you have any idea how we can get rid of these things? And Everett said, I just might know the man. I have a friend that happens to be a great rat catcher. If you would like, I could go get him, and, and he, he could probably get rat, rid of the rats in just a couple of days. So finally the general agreed, and the rat catcher came in. Now Reynard, he put up a thick French accent and a little mustache, and he came in and he was like, Hello there, general. Um, you want me to get rid of your rats? And he said, Yes, go ahead. So that's what he did. He, he got up all the rats, and he collected them, and he put them in the lunchbox, and he started walking. And he came over to the guard, and the guard was sitting there and said, We're going to need to check that lunchbox. So he said, Be my guest. And he opened it up, and all those rats jumped out of the lunchbox, and they were scurrying around, and the man, he just kind of shook them off and said, Ugh! Get out of here! Go! And so um, this happened a second time. The man said, We're going to need to check that lunchbox. And so he said, be my guest. And he opened the lid and all those rats came jumping out and the man was very frustrated and told him to just go ahead and go. Well, anyways, um, the third time this was about to happen, uh, Raynard, he went up and he got the, opened the floorboard and he pulled out the general's plans and put them into the lunchbox along with the rats. And he um, walked forward and finally he came up to the man and uh, he said, would you like to touch my lunchbox? And he said, no, no, don't bother. No more rats. You can go pass. And so the Americans ended up getting the plans after all. And this was an historic moment for America. And it's one of the lesser told tales. This is very secret information I'm telling you all. And you can't tell anyone else because the government doesn't want you to know that this particular incident went down. Anyways, that's all I have to tell you. Sweet dreams and good night.